This weekend has been a very hectic one. I've done several updates on the platform. I've updated a lot of things on the UI. Uh, another thing I've done is also update certain sections in the admin section, especially the user details section. Basically the area where we have a lot of user information, I've updated a lot of things there. But right now what I want to do is that I'm going to hunt some apartments, then when we're going to get back home. I have a lot of updates I've not yet pushed and hopefully I'll be able to push out the updates for tomorrow. I've also streamlined the way a student enroll in the course because right now the way a student enroll was that you first of all register to the platform then after you take an entrance exam after you can enroll to the course. But there are some students who don't want to enroll to the full program, they only want a certain part of the course. So, yeah, I'm here with my boy Ramses. Yes sir. We're going to look at a few apartments because I'm trying to get a new apartment. I'm just done touring some apartments. I actually want to get a two bedroom, but I'll probably get a one bedroom because uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably get a one bedroom because um, the apartments are quite expensive. So, yeah. Wait, you just, just like, like, just like <laughs> Can you tell something to the blood? Yeah, sir. Give, us, give us a give us a little quote. What should we know about life? Let me tell you something, boys. Yeah. In life, yeah. if you don't go for what you want, yes, no one's gonna give it to you. Yes, That's sir. it. You know what it is? Hey, I don't know if you know, but we're gonna win. Hey, let's go, boys. Yes, sir. We're gonna win. What we say? What we say? We're winners here. All we know is to win, so we're gonna win. Yeah. Vibes. I can't say that right now. <laughs> oh, you got it. Okay, we're back home. Okay, I'm turning on this light. I like turning on this light just because it looks cool. So I have a lot of updates to show y'all today. I've actually been working on redesigning my whole platform, uh, working on how the data is going to be transferred in the back end, how students are going to be doing to register to a new course, and just so much cool stuff. So I'll be showing you the before and the after of the different pages. Because I haven't pushed the update yet, everything is still running locally. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to push it tomorrow after finishing everything today. We're going to do kind of like a side-by-side -side comparison where I'm going to show you how it was previously and how it is right now. So let me show you first how it was previously. So this is my landing page. As you can see, it looks cool, looks simple. Everything looks good. Everything looks good. This is the previous landing page. Now this is the current landing page still on my local host. Uh, let's reload it and see the cool animation that's going on here. So this is the new landing page here. We have this going on. So it looks uh, more dynamic. Uh, I think it looks more attractive. I don't know, you let me know in the comment section. So these are the two side by side. So tell me what you think. We also have the sign up screen or the enroll now uh, page. This was the enroll now page. Very simple, getting your email, your password, and this small notice saying you have to pay $10 registration fee. And then you have the new sign up page, which is this. Um, I think this looks better. It shows more information about the program at university here. And then you still have your sign up page right here with all the information. This is just the code. I added um, quite some couple of codes here. I've not, I've not yet pushed everything to my GitHub. As you can see here, some things are yellow showing that I haven't yet committed them. Same goes with the login page. The previous sign up page. The, here's the previous sign in page. And here is the new sign in page similar to the sign up page very similar so next up we have the dashboard i haven't done a lot of changes to the dashboard uh just try to refine the look a little bit and also let me just go ahead and show you you know okay so here's the previous dashboard so as you can see it looks way way different than what it's going to look uh what the new one looks and here is the new dashboard so the reason why the two looks different is that they, the way they even work are very different. So the first platform or the first way the platform worked was that there was only one training pro. You only have the option to enroll in the full stack development training program. But right now I'm adding several other courses. So I have to redesign how the enrollment is being done, allow students to pay for courses and also to still register for the program because I still want to maintain the program, but I can also introduce new courses that are more affordable and also easily accessible without you needing to 
go through a registration, go to an entrance exam and so on. Another difference lies here in the sidebar. You can see the previous sidebar here. And here is the new sidebar just to make everything clean and looking good. So if we go to my course here, there's only one course, which is the full stack development course. And if you go to my course here, my course on the new design, you see that I've redesigned everything. We've put a progress bar so you can actually see the progress. And yeah, everything looks good. We can also see the number of students who are registered. And yeah, pretty, that's pretty much it. Next up, if the student has registered and has actually paid for a course, a different dashboard is going to show up. One more time, let me go ahead and show you that. So the only design I really took in the admin is the user details page. So basically when you click on a user and you see all the user's information. So this is the previous design right here. And this is the new design. So just giving it a more modern look and a more intuitive look. So right here, I'm just going to set the user to has paid so I can, we can actually see the modification in the front end so we can compare both. So this is the previous dashboard. This is after the user has paid for the program. This is the previous dashboard here. You can see the table here and you can see the ongoing project. Now this is the new dashboard right here. You see that everything looks um, more attractive. I've just tweaked everything, put a little bit of gradient right here. Uh, the cards look a little bit better and you have the ongoing project card that also looks better and finally the table that has been tweaked a whole lot this is the previous table and this is the new table so this is about it for the current changes i've made on the ui i've also made certain changes on the back end like now i've added a section where a student can actually enroll into a program by a course so i haven't yet implemented the buy a course functionality i'm still trying to figure out how to do that but i'll be doing it in a couple of hours so that by tomorrow this can be ready so right now it's currently 9 40 pm i'll probably be here the whole night because i still have quite a few things to do i really want this to be ready so i can launch it tomorrow and start promoting the new platform and the program and all that kind of stuff so yeah let's get right into it and i'm going to see you once i'm done a few moments later i have this very bad habit of working all night and i think i need to regulate myself as time goes on because if i work all night it means i'm going to be sleeping the whole day but good stuff usually happens during the day so i think i should start trying to really regulate my sleep schedule so i can have more time in, so i can have more time to spend during the day and work a little bit less at night it's currently uh 12 p.m 12 18 p.m i think i started working yesterday at 9 p.m and well as you can see it's 11 pm but right now i've added a tremendous amount of updates to the website i really like to show everything but there's a lot of updates i'm not going to be able to show everything here but let me just go ahead and show a few things a part of the updates i showed previously like the landing page um the courses page i also added the ability for students to be able to buy a course because Previously in the program, you're only able to register to the full stack development program, so just a single program. So I had to redesign the way the back end works. So basically, the way it was working was that when you make a payment, uh, you get direct access to the course. So right now, I've restructured it so that if a user wants to have access to a course, he has to first enroll to the course. And this has created an enrollment collection in my Firestore database. So I've basically redesigned the whole thing. So this is the page that the user sees when they've purchased the course. I've also added these two cards right here so that when it, when a user purchases a course, he can continue the course directly from here. So if we click on continue, it takes us to this cool course player where we have video courses and uh, text courses. Right now the video course is not showing because I've put a setting in my Vimeo so that it can only show on uh, my official website. But right now we're running it on the local host so it cannot really show. But it's working pretty well. We also have the project, the project that has been redesigned here. The project section, you can see the description here. You can see the resources, the submission. And you can also get your feedback right here. So you also have the settings page, the payment page, the curriculum, uh, different courses, and an area to discover courses and also let you buy other courses. Basically the dashboard when a student register for the program, and then has access to the entrance exam so right here i've already taken the entrance exam and you can see i've passed the entrance exam i can also come here and view my summary uh 
okay normally i'm supposed to be able to view my summary here but i don't know what's wrong i'll figure it out later and this is the old design as you can see a huge improvement has been made here this was basically everything in the old design and this is the new design right here so it's a huge improvement just looks more dynamic looks more professional yeah, it just looks like something or more is going on here so the same goes when you fail the exam it also shows up here and you can also access the preparatory materials so there's a lot of stuff i've updated and i think i'm going to make like a formal video showcasing the whole platform because i'm not only trying to build a course or a program i'm also trying to enter into the ed tech space so if i can build a technology that other people can use that can be helpful to other people it's going to be great i'm going to eventually make a demo of the whole platform when it's going to be finished because right now we're still building it still rough in terms of the design i think right now it looks pretty good so i haven't slept the whole night i'm just going to go and hit the sack take a nap right now and yeah see you maybe later or this is just going to be the end of the vlog i don't yet know anywho later it's currently 7 pm i always like tracking the time because i think time is money so i always operate on the basis of this is how much time i have used this is how much time i have left and this is what i have to do that's why you always see me looking at the time tracking my time and all that kind of stuff i'm going to take a little walk uh, because it's always good to get some sunlight touch some grass even though there is no sunlight right now but you know it's still better late than never sometimes it's just good to sit outside take some fresh air and have a good time and also sitting outside is a way for me to like think to reflect on life reflect on my ideas to even see how far i've come because i know i've not yet achieved a lot yet but i've built a lot of stuff that i'm pretty proud of and, and i keep trying to build the things i believe i need to build and I think that's the best way to live life, like living life knowing that what you're doing is what you want to do and it can actually impact people in a positive manner. Because at the end of the day, I don't think it's really worth living life just for yourself. I think trying to make an impact, trying to contribute for the greater good of the world, really what makes life more interesting, more worth it. And it's really a huge reason to keep living. Because there's always this existential question like, why am I even here? What am I doing here? What was my purpose? And so on. But if your purpose is to make the world a better place, I think you'll never go wrong with that. This is going to be all for this vlog. If you've been following these vlogs, I'm really grateful. And I really thank you for being part of this journey. If you want to be part of this journey and you're not part of this journey, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And see you in the next one.